everyone. I'm going to start to try to start to do better with live videos. So <clears throat> I went on all of our pages. Beth's not with me today, but I want to show you what I did. She actually got to see this table before I got started. And it was um, just uh, they had put like a kind of paint on the top. Some of the molding around the edges had fallen off and they just painted over it. The kids thought it was a chalkboard, so they had kind of colored on it and and kind of carved some stuff into the paint because it was pretty thin. And it really kind of was kind of this cool kind of, you know, pop kind of looking top. And um, Beth and I were both like, hey, that's pretty cool looking. And I'm like, I know. But the problem was it was they had left it outside and it was so dirty. So when I went to try to clean it, I the artwork and everything, the paint was so thin on um, the, the one layer that they put on was it just basically kind of crumbled right off. But what I wanted to show you was I used iFlex. It's the molding uh, 4126. It is, um, again, it had just a flat molding around it. And I went in and I put this on. And I don't know if you guys can see this. It is amazing. So I just used my, my little cooker, my little skillet. And once you heat that iFlex up, it is just as bendable as can be. So, comparative to a, a piece like this, that is, you know, pretty hard. Well, it is hard. So, this is just bendable. You can just mold it around the edges. You just kind of push down with your wood glue. You want to just put your wood glue on there and then keep like a damp uh, paper towel to where it kind of squishes out. You just want to wipe that off. But this stuff is crazy amazing. Hi, guys. Beth isn't with me today, but I kind of want to show you a couple things I've been working on. Brianna, Karen, and Lisa. Um, but this is what I did with the iFlex. Again, it, the molding that they had put on there had already started to fall off. The legs were pretty rusty. So I took some steel wool. I don't know if you guys have ever used that, like on metal, but it'll help you get the rust off. And then I used uh, this uh, blue surface because it was slick. And then I used the silver metallic. And I think it's going to be so cute when it's complete done. I'm going to go ahead and paint the top of a pure white. I did put it on rollers, so now it rolls. I was kind of thinking about keeping it. <laughs> My husband says I can't keep it. I can't keep anything. But it turned out so cute. That would be so cute for you know, somebody's kitchen or, um, I mean, it could even be the kid's art table. But a friend of mine, Miss uh, Iflex herself, taught me something. Um, when people say, well, where did you get the table? I found it on the boulevard. So basically it was put out for junk day. It was going to be thrown away. And, you know, I love to do that. Take something that you can save from going to the landfill and actually make it, um, useful again but i'll show you the finished product on tuesday when we go live but i wanted to show you how cool this iflex um, molding was that i put on it and how it just can you guys see it how what a big difference is going to be and then i'm, I'm going to paint the top it did have some like where they gouged it so i had to put a little bit of filler so I, i'm not going to new surface the top because i had to sand just a little here and there so it's pretty roughed up at this point and so I'm just going to, my last step will be, you know, two coats of the one step uh, pure white on top. But I wish I had a before picture, but I don't. But look how that, that molding, that iFlex molding went on. It is just beautiful. It just makes it a totally different table. And again, this making the legs silver again without any rust and the rollers. I love it that it rolls now because I can just push it wherever I want to push it in the studio um but it really did turn out really cute hi everyone the black farmhouse hi phyllis don't you love this did you see this this table is so stinking heavy too like ugh. it'll make a nice nice table for um again you could use it for anything literally you could use it for a game table you could use it for um your craft table you could use it for anything and i just love that when you pick something off off the side of the road, the boulevard, right, Phyllis, that, you know, you can take it and repurpose it and save it from going to the landfill. Because, again, we're just we're just filling up our landfills with things that could actually be repurposed and be used by somebody else again. So, again, it was the iFlex 4126. 
And I used about, it took one roll and probably about a half of a roll. But again, you guys, so amazing. So I just used my griddle and I put mine about 200. That's about right, isn't it, Phyllis? No more than 200. I know Beth isn't here. Sorry. I was like, I'm going to go live without you. And she's like, okay. Um, but it is, it is so amazing. I just get the whole roll hot and I start on a, an edge with, and I have my glue like on a plate and I just do it and hold it, hold it and go. And then I take my, you, at the point when the roll is, you know, you're further down, it's going to get warm again. I mean, cool again. It takes about the same a time to get hot as it does to get cold. So, um, sorry, my phone is going off. You, you want to have a heat gun with you? That way you can just go ahead and once you have this on and secure, you know, I just eat, leave my roll like on top and I just keep going. And then I just heat that piece with my heat gun and I just keep moving all the way around. But it really did turn out cute. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. But you guys, I do want to talk about one more other thing is the Sassy Sister Kit. So, oh, this is what you're going to get in your Sassy Sister Kit. You're going to get your red rubies. You're going to get a spun gold. These are all two ounce, a peacock, a simple white, a one-step bungalow, a new surface white, new surface brown, which is your freebie. You only get seven in the kits, and we're going to send you eight this month, and then a two ounce liquid wax mat. So... Thank you so much to everybody who has purchased one. And if you haven't yet, you definitely want to do that because it will, once this one's gone, it'll be gone. So we won't uh, do these colors again for a while. And we're already working on next month so we can get you guys something really cool. Hey, Sandra. Hi, Karen. I'm not as good as this as she is. Nancy, Shelly, Carol, Brianna, Dolly, Nora. Hi, everybody. Nicole. But I was just talking about the iFlex, you guys, if you missed it. It is so amazing. And the Sassy Sister Kit. <clears throat> we may have a surprise with iFlex next month in the Sassy Sister Kits. We're working. We're working it. We're going to see what we can do. Because we want to try to give you guys like a small free gift every month of the kit, which is a little bit different than we would normally do if you just went in and picked your, picked your colors. But and then my last project that I got to do today is a big number seven. The girls, we got to do their photos for their seven year birthday. And I'm going to put some, I found this tissue that I like and it says happy birthday because it's kind of a tradition ever since they were one, I've made them a number that they hold in their photos together. So now we're at number seven. It's hard to believe for me that we're at number seven, but I got to finish that today before I go home. But I'll show you the finished product on this, you guys. And you can see, here's my piece. It got cold again and it's not bendable. I mean, it's, it's there, it's stiff. So it is amazing. And I really do recommend with starting your pieces in the griddle. Even if you think it's a flat piece, you want to really make sure that you warm it up that way it can adhere because even though you think it's flat, it's not always flat. So, woo -woo. but yeah, I love the table too, you guys. I wish I had a before picture because the legs were all rusty and it didn't have rollers and the trim that they had on it was flat and falling off. But I'm real excited about um, that it can just, you know, go, go to its next life with somebody. So again, you guys, happy Saturday. Um, but don't forget to get your Sassy Sister Kit. Use the link that's on the Crafty Edge. They're $29.95. This month you get eight instead of seven. So get those orders in and um, they will ship out. Anybody who had ordered up until yesterday, everything is shipped out as of today. So um, if you order over the weekend, it'll post office closes at noon. So they will go out um, on Monday. So thanks, guys. I just wanted to kind of show you this, how amazing iFlex can change something. So thank you, guys. Have a good one. Happy Saturday. Bye. Anybody have any questions? I guess I should ask that first. Uh... Hey, making it with Mimi. Hi, Tiffany. Hey, Phyllis, can you drop a link for um, iFlex? Do you have one where they can go in and order if they need to order? Hi, Pauline. 
Anybody have any questions about iFlex? Because Phyllis is on. We can she can answer anything you guys need to know that I maybe didn't cover. She tries to teach me well, but sometimes I'm not so good. Hopefully I said hello to everybody. Anybody have any questions? Hi, Sandra. Hi, Susie. How long on the griddle? Um, it's going to take the same amount of time to heat up as it's going to cool down. Usually, I mine, so I'm not going to lie. So now I'll turn mine a little bit low, go do something else and come back. But Phyllis, like if it was a roll, how long would you think, like if they were just going to sit and wait for it, how long would you leave it on the, the griddle if it was like a roll? of the uh, 40, 4126. She'll answer us here in just a minute. But really, it doesn't take very long. It heats up pretty darn quick. And it cool again, it cools back down the same way. Did you get my question, Phyllis? Uh, I'll have to replay because I don't have anything about iFlex. iFlex is amazing. It's it is a wood product. It is it can stay a few hours, but I wouldn't go very long. Okay, so she's she knows me well. That's when most I'll start something to forget. That's why I keep mine just a little bit lower instead of, instead of high because you don't want to go over 275 because um, it is a wood product. It's not going to catch on fire. In the, I mean, I guess you could if you really just, but I don't think it ever would. Um, but, you, you know, you just don't want to get it too hot either because you're going to burn yourself. But iFlex is a wood product and it comes in so many different um, designs. Let me get my little basket. I have a basket. I sell it up front, but I have a basket back here. So like this would heat up and you could put it on a dresser or um, a platter or, you know, like a platter that you're doing. I got... These are super cool. They're really pretty flowers. I love these. Like you can use these for handles on like real delicate, dainty. Um, oh, jewelry chests. I'll have to show you one of the new ones they just came out with here soon. Love the angel. And they have the molding in different sizes, different designs. So there, I used that one, but here are some of my pieces of other things. And you have to, if you go to Phyllis's page, they took all their little pieces that they had used and put on a pumpkin. And this one's really wide. Um, and it is the cutest because it's just like different pieces of eye flex on the outside of like on this wood pumpkin. And it turned out so cute. So it, again, they come in so many different designs. But let me show you one of the new ones that they have. I haven't. I haven't found the right piece to use her on yet. I have her packed up over here so I don't break her. This is one of the newer pieces that they have in their line. But isn't she amazing? And she's that she's the iFlex. I love her. Is iFlex like the product would you been? Yes, it is. It is, can I say it, Phyllis? Like, it is the same. It is the exact same. It's just cheaper, but it's the same product, but much cheaper. You're going to get much more value for your iFlex than you are that other one. I try not to say their name. <laughs> I don't want them to tell me to keep their name out of my mouth, whatever that little saying is. Don't talk about me. But it's the exact same. And it is it is amazing. Phyllis is a small business owner in Louisiana. She has three vintage stores and it opened, I think, a boutique today. So she's a little bit crazy like all the rest of us. Always, you know, have lots of irons in the fire. But she's an amazing person. Great person to work with um, if you're looking for anything like that. But you can just go in there and just, I mean, there are so many things that you can find. And again, you just heat it up. And that way, if your your piece of wood could even be wavy and you're just going to be able to mold it to it. I should have brought my, oh, my picture frame that Phyllis and I did. It was one of the picture frames that should have the caps on the end. And I mean, we had to, we had, we, her and I, were, sometimes you need two people. We were really molding it in, but it, it literally just went like right over that, the edge of that uh, picture frame. I mean, it was like this, but not a little more detailed and we took a corner piece and we just mold once you heat it up we just molded it into that corner 
I have it up front with my display. I should have thought about that. But it is so cute because it was missing. It was, mi I think it only had two left. So I popped the other two off and I, we just put those on. So it was really cool. But yay. But yeah, you guys check out iFlex. Love it. And again, I used the new surface on the legs with the silver. And then um, I hate the camera. And then some pure white. And then and I'm going to do pure white on the top. And I'll show you the end on Tuesday. But don't forget about your sassy sister kits. You get two ounces of the liquid wax. Your nurse, new surface brown is free this month. New surface white. Ruby slip, ruby, ruby raw, ruby slippers, which is metallic, spun gold. Peacock, which is a metallic, uh, simple white, and then bungalow blue, which is a one step. But we're already working on the one for next month. And uh, we definitely love you guys' support and definitely go to the Crafty Edge page. Um, the link is there to pick up the, the kit. That way Beth, you know, gets some credit because she's out there working her little heart to death. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Have a good one. I love the one step too. Any other questions? Tiffany says, hi, Phyllis. All right, you guys. You have to go sit with your husbands and watch some football. Have a good one.